but it first starts with a sound, right? There's this sound that I hear and that sound moves me, all right? That sound moves me. So this was a sound that I heard years ago. And there are times in my life where I just stop and I play this sound because it does something for me internally. It moves me. Write that down. The very first thing that needs to happen to you every single day is you need to be moved. You need to be moved. Whatever it is that you can do literally to incite it. Listen to me very closely. When I say find something that moves you, what most of you do wrong is you're waiting for something to move you. Instead of creating the thing every day, that moves you. And the reason why I say find something that moves you, because what separates humans is our effort. There's some of us, we give 70% to what we do. Some of us, 80%. Some of us, 90%. Some of us, 100%. Some of us, 120%. And so when you move and you are moved, it allows you to operate at a whole different level. I look, I don't know what it is. I'm telling you though, stop waiting for something to move you and move yourself. Like every day, move yourself. So in the morning, move yourself. In the afternoon, move yourself. At night, move yourself. Stop waiting for life to move you and you move you. Like be very intentional and very deliberate about moving yourself. That's number one. Look, the only difference between you and I is passion. That's it. Most of you are probably more intelligent than me in this room. You are. You're probably more gifted naturally than I am. But what separates us is that I'm moved. I'm intentional and deliberate at the first hour of my day of saying, E, let's go. So many of you are moving and you're moving on 70% or 80. So what happens to you is you're average or you're good, but you're not great or phenomenal. And if you can find whatever your greatness is and be that consistent. The problem with most of you, listen to me, the first thing is you don't, you, you're, you are moved, but you're not responsible for your move. Everything is external that moves you. Now I want you to start moving yourself internally. I want you to be able to push your buttons. You hear people say all the time, like, yo, E, bro, I was feeling it, now I ain't feeling it. That's on you. Like, you control your feelings. Don't nobody else control your feelings. So when you tell me I ain't feeling it no more, it don't got nothing to do with something internal, external. It's something internal that you ain't pushing no more. It wasn't the house or the car or the money that pushed you. You pushed you, but you told yourself it was those things. It wasn't those things. Those are inanimate objects. Inanimate objects don't push you or move you. You push you. You move you. So if you're not being moved, that's on you. You're doing something wrong. You're not being able to go inside and push the right buttons. So the first thing is, you gotta move you every single day. If you get to a point in your day and you down and out, if you get to a point in your day and you exhausted, you get to a point in your day and you're not feeling it, you can stop right there and change the mood. You control your feelings. You control your mood. Nobody control your mood.